It's 2020 now and breast cancer will affect one in seven women in their lifetime. Um, not every woman will have the same type of breast cancer. and We need to be able to diagnose these tumours in the most effective way so that we can accurately target them for treatment. And some of our research is looking at working out whether or not women with invasive lobular breast cancer need to have chemotherapy. Can we um, stop them from having this drug but without impacting their outcomes? So by looking at the DNA and genetic changes in these tumours, we can get an idea of whether they would have responded to this drug or not. When we talk about breast cancer, we talk about it as though it's one disease, but it's really hundreds of different types of tumours. And my research focuses on a couple of the less common tumours. I work on invasive lobular breast cancer and also on metaplastic breast cancer. And these are two so-called special types of breast cancer. And I'm applying different genomic technologies to try and understand better the types of mutations and genetic changes that are occurring in these tumours so that we can develop rational treatments. We want to be able to precisely target a drug to a tumour type so that the patients don't have to go through unnecessary treatments and make sure that every time we give a drug it's going to um, have an effect on the tumour. The thing about breast cancer is it's such a variable disease. We, have, we encounter patients, even in our BrainMap trial program, um, who, uh, you know, might have only been diagnosed with early breast cancer in May, um, and then by June or July the same year, they're already enrolled in our, in our BrainMap program, indicating that for them, it's been a life-changing, rapid journey from primary cancer diagnosis you know, to a terminal metastatic diagnosis all within a few months. Then at the other end of the spectrum, we have women who might have received their first breast cancer diagnosis in the 90s, and they're coming now, you know, through our, our metastasis research program. And, you know, that indicates how different the journey can be for, for different women. The bonsai study is really, really important. Um, it's going to generate very important benchmark data that describes how drugs enter the brain metastasis space and are retained there. And what we're hoping to do then in the future is build on that baseline with brand new engineered nanomedicine type drugs, which is a very exciting area involving um, protein engineering, um, enabling us to specifically engineer features to overcome some of the barriers that exist to uptake of standard drugs. The feedback that we've had from the patients enrolled in the bonsai study so far um, is that it, it gives them a sense of purpose. Um, it helps them feel like they're doing something positive with their situation um, and possibly even a distraction um, because they come through the hearth. And it's interesting, we can explain you know, our research. They can also have a look around and you know, be distracted from their situation by thinking about something that's a little bit intriguing for a while. Um, but mostly it's the, the idea of a legacy that you know, they're doing something helpful with their situation.